Okay, so we have a slight update on the Naboo Starfighter. We, we've, um, we, I'm saying we again. There's no one else involved in this apart from me. <laughs> I have um, given it a black gloss coat of, of uh, Helford's Gloss Black Aerosol from the Rattle Can. And um, now I've just been um, rubbing it down with um, polish. Not polish tea cut. I've just put this like white paste on with the cloth. You put a dab of the white on, give it a rub, and then you take the other cloth and rub it off. And it's all sort of dusty and chalky at the moment because I haven't cleaned all this off. But you can see the reflection is there. Um, all that, all that white in the panel line is all from the. Um, the tea cut stuff I'm using um, but I'm getting the reflection I want so I'm going to wash all that residue off and then let it dry in this ridiculous heat wave that we've got that's about a million degrees in the UK at the moment and um, if all else fails in the heat just do modeling <laughs> so that's what I've done I've um laughed off work and thought it's too hot I need to go and sit in a dark room and play with some plastic so I'll just show you the underneath if I can get this annoying mount off one sec there we go and the underneath as you can see it's got some reflection going there's me, can you see me? Hello, waving. So, that should look okay. Famous last words. I just need to get all this chalky, dusty sort of stuff off and then I can hopefully um, have it ready for the, for the um, metal coat, which I'll be using uh, the AK Interactive uh, metal paint if I can get that back on there we go just leave it like that for a minute I'll go and grab it off the shelf one sec it'll be the AK479 aluminum and I use that on Oh, did I use that? I can't remember if I used that on the Razor Crest or not. It might have been a, a Luma Luster, which I've still got some left, but this seemed to be a bit more brighter. So that'll help with the weathering. Because if I start off with a like a, a darker metal coat, when the weathering goes on top, it's going to be really dark. So I'm going to stick with the brightest one I can find, which is this one, and we'll go from there. I'm not a pro at shiny coats at all. It's It's really new ground for me i've done a few mando helmets and the razor crest so apart from that nothing else I've, I've ever done has been glossy or metalized so <clears throat> i'm out of my comfort zone but it feels nice because at the moment it's going all right um and i'm happy with it so let's see what this ak stuff does okay so here we have the silver on or aluminium it's not chrome, it's aluminium, so it's not quite got that uh, mirror finish, but it has got that reflective surface <coughs> that I'm um, kind of after. It's, it's okay, I'm not a connoisseur with the um, silver. Um, I'm more into my weathering and the matte coats and streaking and that sort of thing, but as you know, but I'm okay with that, that's all right. That's, it's got some reflection on the front there. I might clear coat it and then polish the clear coat to get like a shinier surface. But yeah, it's not, it could have been worse. <laughs> could have been worse. But it's not that bad. So I'm kind of okay with it. Right, so that is the AK479 aluminium. Okay, so. This has now had a clear coat. Let's put some of that shine back. And uh, 
rather than just looking like glossy grey. Well, still looks glossy grey. <laughs> In person it looks more metallic. So that's what we're after. Oops. And um, yeah, happy with that. That will be um, dirted up and suitably weathered. Um, yeah, metallics are so tricky to nail. And when you see some perfect jobs from some of these guys online that are doing these, they're so good with metalised paints. You really think mine looks crap, but um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm, I'm sticking with it. It's not too bad. It's all right. It um, perhaps is a bit too bright, but um, it does look far brighter in person on this camera than it does in person. But yeah. That'll do. Okay, so I'm not having much luck with this. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nearly gone out the window a few times to see if it can fly. But um, what happened was I showed you the last little update, which will be literally seconds before this one, because the way I've cut it together. I used Alclad clear coat gloss. Now this was probably completely my fault and user error, but I mixed it with enamel thinners. Now, I don't know if you'll be jumping back in shock when you're watching this going, no, you what a twat for doing that. You don't mix it with enamel thinners. But I always assumed that was what Alclad was based with, like an enamel base, like the AK metal stuff. And it went on fine initially. It was really glossy and nice. But two days later, and it was still sticky. And I was like, I can't weather this and work with this if it's sticky. So now I've just gone back over with a dust coat of the AK Aluminium to hopefully um, rectify that stickiness and hopefully it'll bring it back to how it was. But... I mean, I'm quite glad actually that I've had to do this because the clear coat was, it just looked like it was wet. It didn't look like it was sort of um, a metal finish. Whereas this actually looks, the sheen on this looks more metal-like. Again, it's not, it's not how I really, I know I said I wanted it light, but this is like, you know, really <laughs> bright, but I'll persevere with it. Whereas the engine underneath is with the same AK stuff. And that's, um, if I can get that in focus, that's come out really nice. And apart from the dust particles on it, again, a user error. Whereas this tail piece has been done with a Luma Luster, which is what um, Mando's helmet was originally done with. And that costs loads of money and it's ridiculous amounts. But uh, I had um, some left over that my good friend Craig sent me. So um, I thought I'd try it. That's all gone now. But um, it has got more of a sheen to it, but it's darker. Um, I also did the engine piece in the same Maluma Luster. Again, it's got that sort of gleam to it, but it's darker. But it just sort of changes the... Um, the shades up a little bit but nothing's ever easy you think you start a project and you think oh this is going to be a walk in the park to relax me ready for some more commission jobs but it just um throws up a can of worms but um that's the joy of this hobby i suppose always learning and trying different things um oops the other thing is on the i don't know if you've seen it on the mando season three trailer that's leaked there is an r5 droid sitting where Grogu sits. So I might have to chop that off and pop him in there, which would save me the job of trying to clear this piece up. And also would be quite a little quirky thing because I've not yet seen someone put an R5 droid in their N1 Starfighter. So uh, I've got to do some real work now, but there we have it. Thanks for looking as always, guys.